I don't want to be alone and I'm afraid of dying. 20 year old, I don't want to be by myself. Can someone help? I feel like I'm disconnected from everyone and everything and it's terrifying. Oh, well, uh, my heart goes out to this person. Um, the terrifying is what scares me. Um, I don't want to be alone. We can fix, you know, like that's pretty easy. If you can start by being with people who need you, you know, it, I don't want to be alone. You can't go right from that to, I was going to say going out with Brad Pitt, but he's too old for you anyway. Yeah. Uh, although Leo DiCaprio would go out with you. In a I, don't, I, I don't <laughs> think a, a 20, yeah, she's 20. I don't think a 20 year old thinks Brad Pitt is hot at all. And, uh, uh, maybe, so, maybe they like Leo. Yeah, they could. Yeah, maybe Leo. Yeah. So you don't go from Leo to, you don't go from being alone to that. Um, and I think the larger question uh, about being afraid of dying and all this fear of being alone is um, is very sad and my heart goes out to you. So the first thing I have to say is if your mind goes to hurting yourself in any way, step away from the video and call a professional and get help. Call a hotline, get online and go to one of the med help places I can't tell from your question if you're sad or you're depressed. And they're very different things, sadness and depression. I I have both, I deal with both. So for me, I'll tell you how I can tell the difference um, and then I'll give you a tip. Sadness, I feel a weight in my chest. I'm sad about something. I'm sad that somebody died or I'm sad, whatever. I'm sad about that I didn't, take care of myself and work out this week. It's, it's right here. Depression hits my whole body. I feel heavy in my limbs. I feel tired and I feel like I don't have the energy to get up and do anything. I don't want to do anything. That's depression and you need um, somebody with degrees I don't have to help you with that. If you're worried about dying um, and you're worried about harming yourself, that's probably depression and you need different help. If you're just worried because you don't like your life, which is what it sounds like, then we need to help you take baby steps. You have to accept that you're going to take baby steps to creating a bigger life. So take one thing you're really afraid of and try that. Um, or one thing that's really silly. I don't know why this came to mind. One of the things that, that I think is completely ridiculous is bowling. Bowling is crazy. Why would you even do that? All I could do is roll gutter balls. But think of something that you think is crazy that you think you would never do. Go out for a hip hop class, you know, like go take a salsa class. Go do something that is outside your current realm and do it once and see if you can do it three times. Because I want you to start teaching yourself that um, fear is just a feeling. Feelings cannot stop you. Just because you're afraid doesn't mean you can't do it. So you sound to me like you're afraid of living a bigger life. That means you need to start practicing living a bigger life. And um, you can tell yourself that Granny Rana told you fear doesn't have to stop you. It's just fear. It's just, you just notice it. Oh, I'm afraid. And then you keep going. I and mean, sometimes I get so afraid. Um, I throw up. Okay. So then I know I'm afraid and, and brush your teeth and go on and do it anyway. You can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it because I've seen it over and over again. Just give yourself a little step. You're trying to solve like all these monster problems at once. You can't. You can do one little bitty thing and your little bitty thing is to either decide, oh yeah, people are telling me I'm depressed and I need to get help or <laughs> I'm going to go try something that I am afraid of that's weird and fun and see what happens. Oh, I was thinking um, they have painting and wine classes. You're 20. So depending on where you are, you can go to one of those. And um, 
and paint and drink a little white wine and see other people. This is the Granny Rana show. That's why we do it. Thank you, Granny. This was so much fun. And I hope that message was helpful and encouraging to her.